Okay, everyone. I'm back here with the little uh, beach cruiser. I'm gonna try and set this down in the shade at ground level. Hope I don't blind you with the sun. And we'll try and do a little off-road test here. Okay. Okay. You know, it's really amazing how good this little thing will actually crawl. Um, let, me buy, let me try to bring this up here so you guys can really see a little bit better. But this controller is the whole key because even though this isn't four wheel drive, it's on some pretty steep little rocks. And uh, of course, I got the air dumped out of the back tires. But the whole thing is there's no wheel spin. Uh, it's very well controlled, man. This little robot controller, Siren 50, man. I can't tell you enough good about it. But uh, watch this. It'll just crawl, dude. To totally just crawl it. I mean, it'll, watch how smooth it'll back right up and everything. See, because you're not... You're not burning your tires, so you can get a little run at it forward. And if you can ever get a hold of one of these electric quads and you want to make a big scale RC thing, I'm telling you, it'll do it. Hey, who we got here? All right. Anyway. Yeah, this little thing is unbelievable, man. I can't freaking believe how good it does. See that front wheel's kind of up. God, I mean, it don't even... <laughs> I mean, four by would probably be crazy, because again, I can't, I can't tell you how good this speed controller is, man. Because it totally, I mean, you can just inch with it. It's, it's amazing. And if you do one of these, don't pee around with one of those round uh, gearbox servos, man. You just pony up the bread and do it. And you don't have to buy it and be stupid like I did. Servo City, I like those guys. They have a great product, but they charge $2.90, you know, something for that. I don't even want to tell <laughs> my girl to know what I spent on that freaking servo. But uh, anyway, you know, you can get one, but you have to have the one that has the wires for feedback. You cannot just get one that has the two wires because it needs the potentiometer so we can know where it's at. See, look, it's even spinning, but it'll still crawl. It'll still, it'll come right out of there. It might spin and hop a little, watch. I'll back up a turn, bang. <laughs> I'm gonna try and get a ground shot for you guys. I'm running out of time here. Okay, you guys, 
anyway i'm sure she's gonna be a good fun thing i do have a dodge uh power what is it a dodge ram 3500 kids track dually and what i'm thinking of is keep the front end steering on the dually stock and double up these rear tires possibly i may and may not do this i i really don't know yet double up the rear tires but really it doesn't need it i mean I may actually just keep this separate and just do the kid track RC by itself. Because this thing's a goat, man. I'm telling you, if I was on a little thing, I could haul ass behind it. It'll freaking pull me. I mean, it'll it'll pull the house down. A strong little sucker. I guess my camera work kind of stinks a little bit. Look at that shit.